Bleeding and oh, doing a lot of it is a time-honored tradition in professional wrestling. And, and in fairness, bleeding is a very effective means of telling a violent story. You know, it's a great aesthetic. It's something that creates a good bit of shock value for people. Um, and even more so, just reinforces the violent tale that you're trying to weave here. And given that my career was all about violence, and which later became known as hardcore wrestling, I've, I've come up with blood a lot. And now, whether you call the act of creating blood for yourself gigging, or juicing, or blading, or, or coloring, or, or whatever colorful term you want to use for it, it's the same thing. It's basically taking a piece of razor blade and opening up a gash. Now, does it hurt? Sure. You, you cut your flesh. Of course it hurts. But the thing is, as many times as I've gigged, there's a significant number of those times where the blood was entirely real because, you know, this is a violent business. It's a tough business. And with the things we do, there's always a good chance that, uh, the blood's going to flow whether you meant it to or not. But a lot of you have asked me exactly how we go about, you know, creating a bloody scene within the ring. And so I'll give you a little more details about it. I brought out, <laughs> I've got something here I'm going to open up that I haven't opened up in ages. And it's going to be fun to do it with you guys. It's, it's a tote I had put away when my wrestling career had come to a conclusion. It says right on the top, wrestling stuff. And then in parentheses, it says future use. And I only wrote future use, you know, to try and irritate my wife. Although, I wouldn't be sad if that turned out to be prophetic. But that's that's another whole story. But for me, I like when, if I was going to gig, if I was going to blade, I wanted to keep the blade on me myself. I wanted to have it on hand. A lot of people will have the referee give it to them or somebody else involved in the match give it to them. It's not that I didn't trust the people who were referees. Uh, some great, great people I've had the privilege of working with over the years as refs has everything to do in, with the business and putting on a show. I just prefer doing it that way. But let's dive into the tote here and I'll show you guys exactly how I went about getting set up to Blade. Okay, I'm going to break into my old wrestling stuff tote. There's not a lot of stuff left in there, to be honest. Here, Brax, give him a shot. There's hardly anything left. It was... um. A lot of the stuff, uh, for instance, my ring shoes, I get my son Braxton is shooting this for me. I gave them to him. Anything that I wanted to um, make sure that, you know, my son, my grandkids, whoever have, just remember that the old man did a lot of stupid stuff. I gave away. This is my favorite shirt when I was wrestling. I can't sleep, clowns will eat me. That's really, really freaking witty. And my Joe Boxers. Of course, a chain. Who doesn't? have a chain in their memory box. But I'm looking for, and I'm not seeing, oh, and here's a, this is real old school for you guys. You used to have to be licensed to be a professional wrestler in the state of New York. I believe that was the last license I had to have. It expired 9-32,000. Might have been the last year that, that we had to be licensed, but this is what I was looking for. This goes to the theme of everything. Now, as you can see, it's a cute, sweet little tin. My wife hated this tin so much because what it held were, oh, it's been a long time since I opened this, my little pieces of razor blade for slicing my, here, I'll get one out. That's so all you needed was a little, whoop, little piece like this. They've actually, they're all corroded. I don't know that I'd slice myself with them right now. A, because, well, I'm making videos and not wrestling. And B, because there's a lot of corrosion on there. Might make it more of a risk, though. You know? Yeah. What the hell? But that's, I used, this is actually, because I haven't opened this in years. This is kind of disturbing. Because I remember when I first took this tin, I had a whole bag of disposable razor blades. And I took them apart and just cut the razor blade pieces. There were a lot. There's three left. I did a lot of bleeding. A whole lot of bleeding. All right, well, let's go Let's go on to the real nuts and bolts. I'll show you how I would conceal my blade so I could take it out and display for the world my 
blood wettingness, bloodliness. Is there a word for this? Bleeding, bleeding, juicing. Yeah. I guess they were right with juicing all along. Huh? Yeah, I never, I never did the shots in the ass, so you know, this is my only type of juice. Just let the blood out. Let the blood go. Okay, so this is how I would go about getting ready for a night of bloody revelry. Now, I always had my wrists taped when I was wrestling anyway, just for the extra support. And um, so what I would do, you have the wrist tape here and it's extremely thick because you didn't really want the blade to somehow work its way down and cut your wrist, especially because it's this side, I showed you the wrong side, that I'm gonna put the blade on. Now what I would do, you see I have my wrist taped, but then I'd have another piece. Now I'm gonna take this piece, put it right around there, and then I'm going to put the blade here. And oh, I got oh, it too far up. Yeah, I used to do this a lot, so this is accurate. Put the blade about here, and then I would cover it. So now during the match, boom, 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 jacking each other up. Oh no, I've been hurt, I've been hurt. And when I Lay down, you got the referee and your opponent getting attention away from you. You pop it loose. I pull the blade out, do the deed. Now then I could either put it back, if everything went smoothly like that, boom, you're back in. If it didn't go smoothly for any reason, I would leave it on the, you could leave it in the ring, the ref would take care of it. But worst case scenario, if I'm there and everything gets just a complete cluster, I would Take this, blade fell down. Take this, quickly wrap it up, drop this on the mat. Easier for the ref, nobody gets hurt picking it up. But that was very rare. Usually I could do just like you saw there and um, I could zip that blade in, zip my, unzip myself and put it all back. So now did the, did the tape ever hurt like taking it off? The tape hurt? Coming off my wrist? Yeah. Um, only about five times as much as it hurt slicing open the flesh on oh, my forehead. Yeah, it makes as sense. a matter of fact, you're probably too young to remember when I was wrestling regular, I would still have my tape on when I came home. I wouldn't take it off in the locker room because I didn't want there to be witnesses claiming that I actually cry when the tape comes off. So, yeah, it hurts a, a little bit. So that's about it. That's how I went about gigging, waiting, juicing, whatever you want to call it. But again, blood in wrestling serves its purpose. I mean, you guys, most all of you watching this are wrestling fans, you know it. It takes you to that next level, especially it's difficult to do, not so much nowadays because they don't bleed very often, but when you can catch people by surprise, when something's even more violent than they thought it was going to be. But that was your indicator. And there was an old adage in wrestling when I first started, that said, if you want the green, you got to come up with the red. Which, that's really subtle. You guys probably already figured out that means if you want to make any money, you got to cut yourself. That's why when, you know, if you're a professional wrestler your whole life, a lot of the skills you learn don't transfer over that well into the real, the real world. You know, when you're looking to go to work at a law firm or for IBM or something, and they ask you what, you know, what do you bring to the table and you say, I can cut myself and bleed a real lot. Sometimes people are put off by that because, you know, people are stupid. Okay, all right. Do it fast, like a band-aid coming off. It's not like a band-aid coming off. It hurts way more than a band-aid coming off. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I don't want to be a wrestler anymore. So Get the hell out of here!